Pure Box. Hi, fiends. I was just trying to figure something out. Maybe you can help me. Ryan Robertson. Ryan Robertson. Where, what have I seen him in? Where do I know him from? I know I've seen him jumping around all over the place. And I'm kind of thinking maybe some of my favorite shows. Maybe some movies that I've loved. You know, let's go listen to my interview. Let's find out where Ryan has been. Thanks for joining me on Donna Jean's Coffee House of Horror. I have the delight of having with me Ryan Robertson. And Ryan is actually, it's pretty fascinating. You have probably seen him. He is an, a stuntman and an actor. And in our correspondence about this, um, Ryan, you said that stunt work is action acting. Yes. And that makes so much sense. And you've been in American Horror Story and Black Lightning, Cobra Kai, yes. The Walking Dead being the stunt double for two of my absolute favorites, <laughs> Gabriel and Ezekiel. Mm -hmm. You've also been in The Avengers, Endgame, Suicide Squad 2, Black Panther, another one that, of my that, favorites. That's, uh, that's supposed to be coming out uh, soon. I know. I've actually been seeing snippets of it here and there. And in fact, not when this is shown, but today is actually James Dunn's birthday. So I always, I posted a little happy birthday thing to him on Facebook and put some Suicide Squads 2 stuff on there. So nice. that's kind of happy cool. Birthday. We'll be seeing you jumping around there and it's, it's, it's so impressive. Hopefully. Yeah. So did you always know that you were going to be a stuntman or do something like that? Was that always in your blood? Well, I, I, never, I never knew that I was going to be a stuntman, but I can tell you since the age of five, I wanted to be an actor. So, and I've, I've always held on to it for, for my whole life. You can, you can ask anybody that knows me along my uh, journey in life. They're, they've always said, Ryan is always like, I'm going to be an actor. I'm going to be an actor. Da, 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 da. Yeah. So you were probably the kind of kid then that like took his bicycles down like steps and things like that. Oh, you know, we, we did, we did things like that. We did uh, some daredevil things, you know, just being boys growing up, you know, uh, I've started martial arts at five years old with my brother and uh, you know, just doing things like that, like jumping off the roof of the house, things like that. But I never, it was never, I never knew about being a stuntman when I was, uh, when I, even when I wanted to come into business, I just wanted to be an actor. But when I moved out to California, um, that's when I, that's when I found out like, oh, okay, stunts. And then it just, yeah. It seemed it as though then that was probably the segue to getting involved. How, how did you actually get involved with the films then? Well, you know, um, just wanting to do it in Florida is when I started. I had an agent there. Of course, I wasn't part of the of the, the union, but I had an agent and I was doing like background in commercials and print work and things like that. And, you know, on the week, I, I also ran a martial arts school. And on the weekends, I would like film with some friends, you know, that are still in the industry today. But we, you know, we just film things and fight scenes and short films and things like that. And slowly but surely we just uh yeah it, it happened like that you know you just whatever you want you just have to focus on it you know you That's keep it at the, keep it at the forefront of your life and 
no matter what else is going on, you, you have this, you have this goal, nothing's going to stop you. And you do have a couple of children. Yes. So are, how does that work? I mean, they must be pretty excited to be able to see that. Yeah, you know, that, that's, that's something I can say that's, that's really cool is that um, whenever my girls have seen me on screen, like, in the movies they're like that's my dad you know and i i i really like that and yeah that's that's one of my favorite parts about it just to just to have them you know just proud of their dad you know so yeah but i have two girls two girls uh one is ria the other one's raylene gonna be uh oldest one is gonna be 23 and raylene's gonna be 19. ah oh, so they're old enough to be able to see you on the screen and also appreciate Yes. What it is that you're doing, the, yes. the effort yes. as well as the dedication. Mm -hmm. And yeah. even, uh, you know, even, even them, you know, whenever, whenever we used to spend time together when, when they were younger, I'm always filming them and editing them and doing short films with them and things like that, you know, just to, just to try to get me learned and get better at the craft and, you know, maybe spark an interest to them, but didn't happen. <laughs> Well, they're not that old, so not yet. You never. Yeah, know. not yet, not yet, <laughs> not yet. My oldest daughter has an amazing voice. Well, watching your uh, your film of your stunts and all of that, you can really see the martial arts that are involved in there. Do you still teach? Is that something you still love to do? I I teach. I don't have a school anymore, but I teach. You know just whoever whoever wants to learn you know and that's 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 really fallen to the the back but i you know i still train every day i train every day my, myself and my girlfriend you know we train and we teach each other things so yes well that's life too is teaching and being teachable at the same time right right <laughs> you have a favorite project or a favorite film that you've worked on so far um just I just love the work that I do. You know, it, it's all, you know, everyone is great. You know, I, whether it's a, whether it's a big budget movie or a small budget movie, it's, it's all fun. I, 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 I tell you what, I tell you what's uh, the, the funnest times I've had was when I'd be filming something with the folks that I came up with. Like we used to do you know, films for nothing in Florida, you know, then doing stuff with them. That's the funnest time I've had because of the, of the obvious. <laughs> well, you said that there are some people that you have known for a long time and you're still involved with the films with. Is this anybody that you would want to talk about or is that kind of a personal thing to keep to yourself? Uh, yeah, you know, um, I, I can say that I can say that um, you know they've they've gone on and become you know what I mean you know pretty big names in the industry and you know I got the opportunity to work you know work on some pretty good projects. Nice. You know, well, you know when yeah. somebody is talented themselves and they know someone else it, who is and they also know them to be a good person, it's kind of nice to be able to kind of open that door. Mm -hmm. So. That is awesome. I'm going to ask you about something that I've heard about and touched on a little bit in our correspondence, but I understand you had a near fatal accident in 2000. Mm -hmm. You want to talk about that a little bit? Sure. Um, I was actually, uh, I was, it was July 31st, 2000. So the, the anniversary just passed not too long ago. Um, <clears throat> and I was on my way to see, to meet my then fiance in the, to go see Coyote Ugly, that movie. And while I was, while I was uh, en route, I noticed that uh, there was a car in the median that was, that was mangled. It was in an accident. It wasn't like totally mangled, but I can tell it was an accident. And I recognized the car being the car of one of my friends. So I pulled over, walked across the street to, you know, to see if I could help out and that was it. I woke up in the hospital. Oh my. Mm -hmm. So I woke up in the hospital and, you know, 
you know, there's just, you know, a lot of things were said and a lot of things went on, but I was out of it. So, you know, I only have the pieces that, that people tell me like, oh, you were doing this, you were doing X, Y, Z. You know, I, I don't remember any of it. It's funny, the things that you realize are important mm -hmm. after something like that happens. How did that change your attitude about both life and also your pursuit of what you're doing with, with the stunts and all of that? Did it have any impact? Well, I, I, I wasn't doing stunts then. You know, I, I started. Oh, so the stunts came after that. You oh, are like there. There was there was there were a lot of things that came after because because doing that, like being in the accident, you know, it, it's a horrible thing. Uh, I could, but I can tell you, it was worse for others than it was for me. It was just for me. It was just my thing I had to deal with. For the other, for others, people are thinking, "Oh my gosh, he got hit by a car while he's walking." His his leg is broken out this way. He had to piece his ankle back together. He has this big scar on his neck, you know, all this good stuff that, you know, but the this accident, changed you. Yeah, the accident, how it changed me, it gave me, it gave me like a, like a, a reason to fight. And, you know, cause I had to rebuild myself. I had to, I had to like work out again and strengthen my back and do all this good stuff, you know, after, after like the the advice of my the doctor at the time was like no don't do that and you'll never be able to do this that that and me i guess being stubborn i was like i don't think so you know so i went and i joined a gym and you know i just i just rebuilt myself and then uh you know that's when actually when i started fighting hmm. I, I started fighting after that and then 2012 that's when i started like not stunts, but stunts professionally. Ah, okay. So this actually kind of gave you a, uh, hey, you know, I can do anything. I beat that, I can do this, and absolutely. life is short, just go with, for it. Absolutely, with, with, without excuses. Beautiful. Absolutely. I think that is so important not to get talking about it for hours because I could um, <laughs> but I, I have had a couple of experiences myself mm -hmm. that so many people would say you know oh why you and my feeling is like every time I've had something happen I, I just celebrated 11 years cancer free um had part of my lung out congratulations with cancer. and to me it's always it's a celebration of how short life is, but how wonderful it is to be here, how beautiful it is. So mm -hmm. I hear that in you all over the place, so. Well, you know, it, it's, it's because I just, I went after what I wanted. I went after what I wanted and, you know, I'm, I'm not like a, I'm not like a billionaire or famous or anything like that, but I'm in, I'm, I'm in it. I'm in it. And that's, you know, this is my world and, you know. What and, you and love? That, that, I'm, I'm doing exactly what I love. I'm doing exactly what I love. The thing about the, going back to the accident, I was, uh, I always think, you know, before, you know, cause I have this now, mm -hmm. this, uh, this, and I have, I have these scars over here and I have a plate in my leg, but I wouldn't, I, I thought, a while back and I was thinking I was, I was like I wouldn't change a thing like if somebody were like you know what we can time travel back and you'll never have that accident I wouldn't do it I wouldn't do it because of you know every, all the pains I feel is still a good reminder you know my mother my mother when I hated this scar my mother she was like you have to wear it as a badge of honor because mm -hmm. of what it represents you were trying to help somebody and you know, you just have to wear it like that. And I'll tell you what, since, since I've been in the movie industry, every time I'm on set, especially uh, The Walking Dead, everyone's taking pictures of it, you know, <laughs> because they could possibly like replicate it or put it on something. So everybody's like, I see people looking and they're like, oh, how'd you get that? And can I take a picture of it? It's like, Special effects people are up, like taking yeah, pictures. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> it, it, 
I, I should get it its own like Facebook page and Instagram and <laughs> the scar. <laughs> <laughs> I had a uh, stunt person with sick and twisted at one point. It was it was actually just a wonderful thing. I went on set and did a bit of an interview the film they were doing, and he had this uh, set of a, a a scar, and he, you know put it on his arm and showed how it met nipples in, you know, and then he said, oh, you could put it up on your neck like this. And so <laughs> uh, you, you've got so many special effects people just like envious that there's so much less that they would have to do. So yeah, yeah. Like, is it real? <laughs> I, uh, I saw somewhere because I have a number of, of scars due to the cancer and other surgeries and, um, I saw a t-shirt once that said that scars are like tattoos, but with better stories. And yeah, I yeah. Thought, you know, there's something to that, you know, mm -hmm. <laughs> this is yeah, like kind of where right. our battles <laughs> visibly, you know. <laughs> That's right. That's right. I'll tell you what, it, it, it's definitely a conversation starter. Yes. Yes. Yeah. So, and it's wonderful that you're comfortable talking about it too, because I, it's been my feeling is when things happen to us, um, whether it's something that we are an innocent bystander about or our health or even something that we've walked into stupidly, I've been known to do, whenever I learn the lesson, it's something I can use not only in my own life, but to share it with other people. And, you know, there are so many people that would be experiencing a, and it's okay to have a feeling of feeling sorry for yourself for a minute, but you have to be able to stand up and go forward and see it from a different perspective and here you are doing these stunts and doing your martial arts with the plate in your leg yes with the plate in your leg you know um, I, I i i remember stepping in the ring for the first time you know it was just it was just like a it, it was a club roxy i went there and i and i because i knew i could go there and fight you know so i signed up and i was just like i went in there just to just to see, I wasn't gonna do anything. I went in there because I was like, you know what? Let me see if I still got it. And I was still like in in the recovery phase at, at this point. I was like, let me just see if I if I have anything because I've been a martial artist, and it worked out great. And oh, just, just came back. Yeah, I just took off and I just kept on doing it. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah, Show, showed showed me that I could. Exactly. And then you keep having to prove it to yourself too. Are there times that you have found yourself push your, pushing yourself perhaps a little bit too hard and you realized, oh, I need to kind of take a break here or? Oh, no, not at all. No, I, I push myself very hard. You know, what when I, yeah, with, with everything that I do, you know, I'm, I'm very quiet, you know, but inside, the, it's, it's, you know, if you could see my insides, it's like, you know, 10 foot tall person, you know, so. I can absolutely see that. <laughs> and you know, they say it's the quiet ones. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. That's right. <laughs> Since you are a stunt actor and some seeing some of the films you're in, do you have a favorite genre? Do you prefer like the action films do you prefer the horror is there it's more of the stunt that i'm doing you know what i mean that makes sense i'm you know like okay there was one yeah i don't really worry about like like if they call me for a job i don't i don't really say hey is, is this one an action or a comedy <laughs> you're right that was kind of a silly because, question because on my part Oh no 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 it's, it's fine but but I'll, I'll I'll answer my favorite genre um what, because whether it's action comedy drama sci-fi if they tell you that you're jumping out of a car you're jumping out of a car that you, makes you, complete sense yeah and and <laughs> that that's that's the part that that uh, the stunt people have to worry about of course you know well I have to worry about the stunt coordinator and other people they have to worry about their thing but yeah. Is there a stunt that you have not done yet that you would be tempted to try or thinking well, to try or will be tried? I've done I've done like firework in training, 
but I haven't done it for an actual job. I'd love to. Yeah. I need to, we need to connect you with Kane Hodder, so. Kane Hodder, okay, sure. <laughs> no problem, no problem. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now you said that you were in Mississippi now. I hope I'm not yes. kind of telling anybody a secret. Um, what are you doing in Mississippi? Well, there, we're, we're filming a project called The System. The System, it's, it's uh, starring uh, Tyrese Gibson motherfuckers we really in jail bro <laughs> motherfuckers like it's cool all this acting shit it's real as a motherfucker when they put you really in jail with real inmates and they trying to schedule us around them and vice versa this shit real bro y'all come over here man Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Appreciate you. These are my stunt guys. I wish y'all the best, man. That's right. I appreciate y'all making me look like I know what the fuck I'm doing <laughs> with all this fighting shit. You know what I mean? Yes, sir. Appreciate you. I just wanted them to see we really in jail. Real fucking <laughs> real shit. And uh, Terrence Howard, and uh, and uh, up and coming action star who's incredible, Maurice Crump. So is this is a, in the height of filming, so we have a little bit until it would be available for yes. us to see. So. Absolutely, yes. But this is your this is the letting you know. <laughs> awesome. Well, perhaps when it's ready to come out, maybe we can do this again and absolutely possibly, uh, talk a little bit film specific. That would be really fun. Yeah, absolutely. hundred percent. That'd be great. So if one of your girls came to you or yes. a younger person and they said that they wanted to get involved mm -hmm. with the acting, with stunts, would you have any particular words of wisdom or advice for them? Um, I would have, I would tell them to, you know, start training, like pick up a, pick up a skill, you know, start training in like a, some type of fighting or some type of uh, gymnastics. Gymnastics is great, you know, or, uh, yeah, just pick up a skill, you know, like a physical skill and, uh, that, that'll, that'll pretty much work for you. That's, that's just one aspect of it, you know, just make sure you get physically fit. And then of course, there are stunt gyms you can go to and different ways you can get into the industry. Starts there and it's just kind of one step at a time. One step at a time, one step at a time. You know, when you, when you do too much, you know, you spill the meatballs. <laughs> <laughs> well, Ryan, it has been a delight. And unless there's Thank anything you else that you uh, wanted to talk about. I'm going to look forward to seeing you again and talking when this film is ready to come out. Yes. Yeah. Um, yeah. I, I, I have nothing. I have nothing. You know, I would just say that, um, you know, to whoever's watching this, you know, just there's absolutely nothing that you can't do once you put your mind to it. You just have to focus on it, not give yourself any kind of excuse at all, because they're going to come like, like they're going to come flying at you, you know, and it come in all shapes and sizes, you know, but the one thing you can't do is you, you just have to focus. And one thing you can't do is you can't give up. And that's all I got to say. <laughs> and thank you so much. That's uh a beautiful way to end it, and I look forward to seeing you again soon. Hey, Thank you it. guys out there, keep an eye on this guy. Keep an eye on Robert Robert Ryan Robertson, because you're going to see him again. You will. <laughs>